Live long and prosper, dear Earthlings. My name is Vidal Hermann Valo from Band Called Him, and at the moment you're watching Moshcam. I think the cool thing about being in a rock band is that uh, the favorite songs keep on changing each and every night, and it's all depending on how, how the people are going to react. And um, we're a funny band in a way that we, we've been taking these baby steps out of uh, our home country, uh, Finland, um, for the past 20 years. So there's a few albums that some people in Germany know way better than, than the albums that some people in, in Australia know better. So we have kind of like a different career in different parts of the world, and that kind of, kind of makes it exciting. It's like, uh, you know, dancing on a very thin ice. Or, you know, depending on the night, but at the same time, it does. Because it's cool to be able to read the audience and try to find a new angle to the songs you're playing. So it's not the same old, same old. It's not repetitive in that sense. So, so I, I wouldn't say that there's like one favorite. Usually, we enjoy the ones where, where stuff goes horribly wrong because those are the ones you remember. When you uh, when you succeed, then you're just high on adrenaline and and you feel like you're the conqueror of the world. And well, in our case, it doesn't happen too often. But uh, but uh, like yeah, well, last night was fun because we ha haven't toured in a while, and there's the extra amount of uh, adrenaline at least rushing through, through my veins. And I was like, I, I thought that all the tempos were really slow and what's wrong and I couldn't hear the bass proper. And, and then it was so uh, hot, I was sweating like a, like a maniac, like straight from a, uh, looked like I'd been showering all the way through. And, uh, I think when, you, when you're able to laugh at yourself and kind of laugh at the whole being in a band thing, that, that makes it special and that's, that's memorable, at least for us. But, uh, but um, obviously it's very, very different for audiences. <laughs> Thank God. There's Gazillion. I remember we toured Germany for the first time. We played one club that had really low stage and, and was super serious at that time. And, and we wanted to be the darkest band in the world. And, and we did have a few people there in the audience. And there was one girl that was extra, extra large. And uh, then... The, the people behind her kept on pushing, you know, everybody was partying and she couldn't control her body too well, so she fell on the stage on all the, uh, the uh, guitar equipment and all the sound went all bonkers, but we couldn't really do anything about it. And she tried to get up, but her physique wasn't really enabling her to do so. And obviously, you know, that's not a thing to be laughed at, but it is, you, it was from a, from a comedy thing. Nothing bad happened. But it was uh, that's the, that's the great thing about being a goth band, you know, or so whatever you want to call it, you know. But it was like uh, it was really Benny Hill. Uh, we've been touring quite a bit, and there's been there's little stories. A lot of times there's stuff that people don't find funny, and we do. And then most of the stuff I, I used to be a heavy duty drinker, so most of the stuff is, is something I can remember. And, but everybody else keeps on telling me that I've been passing out on a stage somewhere or uh, they found me in, in a ditch in Dublin, Ireland somewhere just 20 minutes before a gig. And that's very Aussie, Osborne in that sense. But uh, obviously, you know, I can't tell you whether it was true or not, true or false, you know. I think the guys are playing tricks on me all the time, you know. That's the reason why I'm not drinking, because I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared of some of their stories. But uh, no, you know, it's... Um, it would take hours to go through all that stuff. There's always something new to talk about, but also at the same time, when you're in a band, the inside humor, when there's five blokes in one bus for months and months on end, the inside humor gets so odd that it's impossible to verbalize it. You know, when, when you get so close to people that you actually, you know, by, by just their bodily odor, you, you know who, who is in a dark bus in the middle of the night, which can be quite, you know, it's not, I wouldn't call it erotic, but it quite, quite tense. Well, well, it has to be. Well, you're usually playing the um, playing one small rock club in Helsinki on New Year's Eve, and that's one of the few gigs that all our parents attend to. So obviously, like my mom shouting, "Yeah, go ahead, boy! You know, dad and mom loves you. Just go and show them." And you know, it's like it's not funny in that sense, but it is something that really takes takes a takes a rock and roll off their guard on the stage you keep on blushing and you know it's it's, it's funny and it's endearing and uh, and you know and the best at the same time you know we're, we're in a blessed position that we have tons of rumors about our bands oh I remember I used to wear a beanie beanie for a long time and and I always had my hair on the ponytail and hidden underneath the beanie so so it was a a rumor that I, I had cancer and I'm, I'm going through chemo. 
And that was, that was fairly entertaining. So it's kind of crazy, you know, just what people can come up with. And one person, you know, the, the fish light, what we call it in Finland, it's just like, the fish gets bigger and bigger, the light, light gets bigger and bigger. And then you kind of like don't want, want it to stop because I think that if there's a, you know, a classic band always has, the more room is the better. So obviously there's like all sorts of, I'm a hermaphrodite or whatever, and you know, who am I to uh, cut the legs of those beautiful stories, you know? We're always fighting in the, when we're in the bus because everybody loves different kinds of music. So I think the only thing we can agree on is something really dirty, grungy, like Carcass or something really satanic, Norwegian black metal that sounds like, a, sounds like you're hoovering. It's just, I guess that for one reason or the other, you know, it's like somebody wants to listen to Motorhead and at the same time, at the same time somebody wants to listen to Type 1 Negative, sometime, uh, somebody wants to listen to Black Sabbath or whatnot, and it never works out. So the more satanic, the better, and the more the like, church is burning, the better too. So I don't know why.